Thank you for being patient. Uh, the one visit visitor and the staff. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, the chair will entertain a motion to reconvene our board meeting. So move. So move. Support. Proper move and supported discussion. Mr. Chairman. Uh, sir, uh, I'm sorry, discussion, go ahead. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Chairman, I, I just want to just share this, uh, my concerns with the, with the honorable body. Um, go back on the record? <clears throat> well, can we go, you want us to go back on the record first? Yeah. Sure, sir. Okay. Uh, those in favor, aye. 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 Those opposed? Uh, the motion carry. Uh, so. Mr. Mr. Chair, you have a quorum. We have a quorum. Uh, I think you want to pause you know, on the discussion. Uh, so the chair would entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, you know, um, there was a discussion and I wanted and I wanted to say something real quick. Before, uh, can can uh, and you, you wait until we get to the discussion part? On the, that's what you want to discuss the matter, right? No, I want to share something right now, sir, Mr. Chairman. So, Mr. Mr. Chairman, um, you know, it is uh, my belief that we as a public officials, uh, should individually and collectively renew our commitments to public service in our hearts and through our actions. It is that reason that I believe that we should individually and collectively as a body politics renew our commitments to be um, fully informed on any matters before uh, prior to voting on it. In the past um, uh, three years, uh, I realized that um, DPD came from underneath 11 or 13 year federal consent decree. Um, I submit that the DPD board of police commissioners have done their job in, in terms of oversight the Department of Justice would have not been necessary. I Willie Burton, District 5 commissioner, respectfully request that the following information be provided to myself and fellow and sister commissioners at least three weeks, which is 21 days before any changes are voted on to change the BOPC organization chart or authorize new positions. I urge you, my colleagues who are um, uh, um, charged with uh, um, fiduciary responsibilities and the public trust to not authorize any changes to the BOPC organization or to the BOPC organization chart operations until we obtain the following information. The, the identity of each salary of each current commission staff member listed on the proposed organization chart, a copy of the job description for each staff person, their core competence, educational requirement, and compensation range for the position. The proposed salary range for any vacant position, the actual duties and responsibilities, each current staff member. This is not just a listing of job responsibilities. We need to know what they actually did in furtherance of commission, commissioners, uh, commission's meetings, mission, commissioner's mission. A copy of their evaluation would be helpful. Historical data on what the salary was for the position for the last four years. A review the, by the commissioners on requests of individual performance evaluation in a confidential setting in order um, to facilitate the commission's understanding of the actual job responsibility. Commissioner B uh, Burden, I want to indicate, first of all, we do not have an organization chart organization chart. We do not have one officially, and that's what we are trying well, to Well, there was three. Well, there's, there's no official organization chart at this time, but we are going to speak to that issue. Okay. Did you reserve your comments on the discussion? My, my colleagues, all of these positions involve taxpayers' uh, money. Uh, in which we are responsible as board members. As a board member of fiduciary, I find the proposed organization of chart to be bloated and a waste of taxpayers' money, significantly a, a legal uh, assistant, 
uh, or paralegal should work for the board attorney, not the policy manager, if needed one at all. I don't think we need one at this time. And uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Commissioner Burton. Uh, thank you. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chairman, I, st I still have a floor I'm not done, Mr. Chairman. Um, in addition, um, um, looking at this, Mr. Chairman, why does the executive manager need uh, administrative assistant and he makes 80 Eighty thousand plus dollars per year. But you, you uh, now you add an order, Reverend. I'm sorry, but you can't talk about people's. No, it's, it's it's about the organizational chart and every and everything is a public record. Okay, so Commissioner we, Burton, that is totally erroneous information. So right. you, the, uh, would you, the question I was I was saying, why do the executive manager, according to the executive chart, needs administrative assistant, Mr. Chairman? Um, I move that we, we table any actions of the, of the revised organization in chart until further notice, and I move uh, that the committee meetings be open to all board members and to the public, just like city council meetings. We are a body of politics, not our, co our committee's deliberations should be open to the public, just like those of the city council. Thank you for listening to my concerns. I urge you to vote in favor of these two motions um, individually. It's just we just we just pause. Yeah. We just pause. Uh, we don't. There's no motion. I put two motions out there, Mr. Chairman. There's no motion. I mean, it just let it die. We can move on. Uh, I'll second the motion. What is the motion? Mr. Mr. Chairman, um, a motion that we table the actions on the revised organization of chart until further notice. Well, it would be out of order because there is no ch organization chart. Well, well, I was, we were all presented an organizational chart and where there was a dotted line from. Okay, it's been moved and second. Uh, those in uh, discussion, those in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Nay. 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 Okay, then the second motion, Mr. Chairman, uh, I move that all committee meetings be open to the uh, to all board members and the public, just like city council meetings. Ben, you got a second on it? Yeah, a second. Ben, proper move and second. Those in favor of the motion, aye. 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 Those opposed? Nay. Nay. Okay. Motion failed. Mr. Chair, for the record, both motions failed. Yes, sir, thank you. Uh, Commissioner DeWash. Um, yes, Mr. Chair, the, um, the board went into closed session and reviewed a, an org chart that was passed out to the board members on January 17th. Um, it is a draft and um, I make a motion that we approve. We reviewed and made one slight change to it. We deleted the dotted line from the chief investigator to the secretary of the board. Uh, and there is discussion about some positions below the level of the HR director, secretary to the board, chief, chief investigator and attorney to the board that we will review um, at future committee meetings because of titles that uh, need to be changed possibly. But overall, the um, I make a motion that we approve the um, org chart that was presented with the dotted line deleted. Second. It's been proper move and second. Discussion on the motion? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I move the table that motion until uh, our next meeting, until we have all of the information defined. We have one motion on the floor, sir. That motion would be out of, your motion would be out of order. We have a motion on the floor. So discussion is, you can discuss the motion, but you can't bring forth another motion until we dispose of this motion. Well, but you can't vote the motion in if I'm in agreement with it, and the move the table is in order. Robert, Robert Uzo order says it can be a substitute motion, Mr. Chairman. Then we vote for the substitute and go back to the original motion. That is correct. And I'm, I'm moving to make that statement because we just said that we don't have all the information and everything in line that we we're going to have further discussion about it. 
And that, that's my motion. I move the table until we have all of the information aligned that we're voting on a competent motion and a competent org chart that we need. Is there a second to that? A second to his table or what? Second to his second motion. To, to no, they have to accept the, the primary make them have to accept the secondary motion. What, to, what motion is out there, sir? Uh, motion to table. Motion again? The motion to table until we can, uh, the, the table, the motion on the org chart until we can get all the accurate information. I second that motion. Make the motion. Are you in favor of the motion? That's what you ask us. Yes. For the whole. Yeah. He's, you're asking Eva. Yes, She's right. Of, of this new motion. Um, are, are you, you're saying that we have to take a vote on it, right? Do I have to be in favor of it? No, I'm not in favor of it. Right. So. So, so, so you, what you're voting on is a substitute motion. And, and she's not in, the maker of the motion is not in favor. Uh, hold on. Mine could, could you, could you just pause for a second? I, I'm, a, I'm a. Mr. Ch Mr. Chairman, so the motion is being made by the vice president, my understanding? Vice chair. I'm vice basically chair. giving a, 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 I'm trying to ask. So I second the vice president's motion. We've already done that. we already done that. This already. Well, I want to make it very clear, crystal clear. On it's a secondary record. motion, then she right. have to accept or reject it, and she said uh, no. Are we done discussion on the first motion? Yes. Um, I believe that I, I, it's been moved and seconded. I feel like the second motion that was made was a reiteration of the first mo two motions right. that were made, and and it's just reiterating the point, so I'd like us to go ahead and vote. Yeah. You, you know, it, it's very clear sir, here. Sir, could you, uh, you haven't been recognized. I think uh, she gave clarity on it, and well, those in favor of well, well, the motion Mr. on the floor? Those in favor of the motion on the floor? Aye. 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 Nay. Nay. Those are, <laughs> I mean, that just made it. Those in, in opposition to the motion? Nays? Nay. Okay. The motion, where we stand. Yes. Mr. Chair, if from the count that I can see, it seems that you had three nays and the rest of uh, the body voted in support of the motion, so the motion would pass. Motion pass. Is there any other business before this body? You know, Mr. Chair, we ask for I, I, I just want to say that it, it, it appears that some of the commissioners here on this board Those are rubber favor stamps. The motion, aye. Not all of us. Those opposed? We, we stand adjourned. District 5, we would not be a rubber stamp and holding somebody else's agenda. I want that, the record, to reflect that. Thank you for coming out. I didn't want this information.